That's amazing! Our first sea turtle encounter. Yeah. Woo! High five. A turtle, turtle experience. One of the most important aspects of producing episodes for the Brave Wilderness Channel is deciding what locations to explore. We choose these epic backdrops, not only based on their visual appearance, but also on the variety of animals that we may possibly encounter. The stunning visual backdrop of the Hawaiian Islands is one of the most incredible places we have ever filmed. And while the prehistoric looking mountains and dense jungles were picture perfect, it was actually the ocean wildlife that we were interested in. Right now we are on the coast of Kauai, on a remote beach. And I told you guys eventually we were going to go beyond the tide. And today is our first day of snorkeling. So what we're gonna do is put on our gear, get into this crystal clear water, and see what sort of animals we can get close to with our underwater cameras. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, let's gear up and head out into the tide. Mahalo. Below the surface of the surrounding Pacific Ocean lives an incredibly diverse world of plants and animals, which made this location an absolute must on this year's production schedule. However, before we could scuba dive below the surface, first we needed to scout several locations to determine where the best reefs existed, and also what kind of animals called these underwater refuges home. For decades, snorkeling has been a popular recreational activity, particularly at tropical resort locations. The appeal is that it gives the opportunity to observe underwater life in a natural setting. And for us, it was the perfect preparation for our upcoming scuba episodes. Woo, how you doing, Mario? That was awesome. Saw some really cool stuff. I saw like a four foot long pike fish. Really? Yeah. Get a shot of it? <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to see what we got. It's really hard to film down there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty neat though. It's like a like like a, the jungle of the ocean. You know, there's full of wildlife. And, oh, it's, totally. Yeah. Really cool. Filming underwater is difficult, so we relied heavily on GoPro cameras to capture images. Mario, Mark, and myself all began to explore the crystal clear water investigating as best we could with the hopes of spotting animals we might be able to get close with or even safely catch and bring to the surface to present in more detail. Ooh. Wow! This spot's been pretty epic so far! Lots of biodiversity! Huge sea cucumbers! Huge sea urchins. I saw some puffer fish. That was pretty cool. I'd say maybe we move spots. Try to find a spot that I heard about that has sea turtles. What do you guys think about that? That sounds awesome. All right, let's head back into shore and switch locations. All right. The first location was beautiful, but unfortunately the biodiversity was a little sparse. So we decided to explore a second spot. All right, guys, we've made it to our next spot. Mario, you look pretty ready. Yeah, let's do it see some deeper pockets of blue out there, which means deeper water and even better places to explore. So if you guys are ready, let's gear up and get into the water. All right, let's head back out, guys. Let's do it. Our second snorkel location was immediately promising, for within a few moments of being beneath the surface, we came upon a green sea turtle. This reptile's diet varies based on age. As youngsters, they are opportunistic, feasting on almost anything that comes across their paths. However, once they reach adult size, like the ones seen here, their diet strictly becomes marine plants, like seagrass and algae. For nearly 10 minutes, we respectfully observed this giant marine turtle until a few strong strokes of its front flippers propelled it forward, and we watched as it disappeared into the haze of the current. Amazing. Our first sea turtle encounter. I got some epic shots. How about you? Oh yeah, man. I had you in the frame. That was so cool. Man, it just it didn't mind us being there at all. No, I just stayed a safe distance. I mean, I was extended all the way out with my aquapod, probably at least 10 feet back from it. But with this, I was able to get super close. That was epic. Yeah. Woo! High 
High five. A turtle, turtle experience. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. We're pretty far from shore. But yeah, we are, man. We kept on. Let's head back that direction. All right. We're way out there. Seeing a green sea turtle was magical, but strict protections prevented us from making contact with the animal. And it's certainly not one that we were allowed to catch and bring to the surface. So it was time to scout the next location. I'm pretty confident we might see some uh, of the animals we're gonna be filming later this week. And that's the goal of scouting this location yeah. is to determine what lives here and uh, and think about what we can actually bring up from the depths and get in front of the cameras. Yep. It isn't easy uh, filming underwater. Yeah, well, and when you're diving, when you're at depth, your maneuverability is really limited because you know, you're weighted down, you've got the tank, you've got all the gear, you've got a really limited amount of time because you only have so much air. When we're snorkeling, we can cruise the surface super fast, um, cover a much wider net of area, you know, really just see where the animals are, are hanging out because that's the whole idea of this is to figure out where to target. So. Today we're going to be taking a lot of mental notes and then we get back to the truck taking physical notes on where we're going to dive here in a couple days. Mario, you ready? Uh, Alright guys, I'm getting my mask on. We're heading out there. They say third time's a charm. And as we held our breath and disappeared beneath the crashing waves, the reef below us revealed a world of marine animals. Fish of all shapes, sizes, and colors darted in every direction. Some of them were so brilliantly bright, they almost seemed unreal. I have to admit, the toughest part about snorkeling is holding your breath. And at best, I was able to hold my breath for around a minute before I needed to return to the surface for a much needed gasp of air. What'd you see? Huge sea urchin! Oh my gosh! Biggest sea urchin I've ever seen. It's like a basketball. Oh man, that is not the kind of urchin you want to run into, that's for sure. I think I got a pretty good shot of it. It's deep down there, at least 25 feet, I'd say. On my next trek beneath the surface, I found one completely safe animal that I decided to bring to the surface, the red slate pencil urchin. Wow. That is crazy cool looking. Well, as you can see, all these little appendages I would allow it to lock it to the rocks. And this one was on a flat surface like this without these little arms extended out into the crevice. They are really stuck to those rocks. They really are, like extreme anchor points. It's interesting because this one doesn't seem to have two feet like some of the others, but maybe behind all those little arms sticking off, they do. Uh, good thing is it's not spiky, so this one doesn't appear to be yeah. venomous or hey, poisonous. Totally safe, right? Yeah, that's fine not going to hurt you at all. Oh, that's awesome. So much biodiversity down here. All right, well, got some clouds rolling in here. We're actually getting dragged pretty close to these rocks. So I think at this point, let's place this back down beneath the surface okay. and get in towards shore. You guys ready? Yep. This species is incredibly plentiful in the coastal waters of the Hawaiian Islands, and they get the name pencil urchin because of their radial spines that resemble red pencils. For nearly an hour, we explored the reef and saw more animals than we could have ever imagined. The biodiversity was incredible, and we knew this would be the perfect place to set our scuba diving episodes. Man, talk about an epic location. There were so many marine animals out there. When they said it was biodiverse, Man, they hit the nail on the head. How about those turtles, first of all? Dude, the sea turtles were amazing. I got better shots of sea turtles today than I've ever gotten with snapping turtles before. And I think it almost warrants us doing a sea turtle episode. I think not only do we need to do a sea turtle episode, I need to get back out there with our tanks because every time we did one of those deep dives, mm -hmm. the place just opened up with new creatures. There was sea urchins, there was all kinds of cool fish, and we know down there there are eels and octopus, and you gotta have the tanks to see those creatures. Yeah, so. well stay tuned guys, because our first scuba diving adventure is coming up here real soon. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild, we'll see you on the next location. Woo! Ooh. Hey Coyote Pack, have you picked up your tickets for the Brave Adventures Tour yet? There's only a few left, so make sure to click on this link to reserve your seats today. And remember, the tour is the only place you can find one of the exclusive Golden Adventure tickets. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. I am so proud to have written this book and it was inspired by a lot of the adventures that we have had.